new report from the Wall Street Journal exposes the prominent names on Jeffrey Epstein's private calendar. Some planned meetings include CIA Director William Burns, Bard College President Leon Botstein, and Obama White House Counsel Catherine Rummler. Uh, the meetings in question all occurring after Epstein had served time in jail for a sex crime uh, involving a minor back in 2008. Remember that. Fox News contributor Bill McGurn joins us now. Bill, we're looking at these names, and if we don't know them by name, we know the position of power. What does this tell you? Well, it tells you um, that he was a very rich person, and when you're very rich, you have connections and you have money, and other people want them, and that didn't change by his conviction. You got Ehud Barak on this, so uh, that's a little bit surprising. Doesn't mean necessarily he's into the unsavory part, but knows the guy has money. Uh, Martin Nowak of Harvard University, he's given millions to Harvard. You know, I also find it interesting, too, uh, that this Bard College group, Bard College president, Leon Bostein. Now, Bard College famously is supported, basically totally financed and propped up by George Soros. So you have, a, uh, you have an intertwining of two very controversial multimillionaires, billionaires. Yeah, I think if you, if you have a lot of money and you're friendly at any, with any college president, you're going to be hit up for money. Look, a lot of these people are trying to extract money from him, and he gave it out. He probably gave it out to build up his credentials, you know, social credentials. And the only thing that's striking to me, again, uh, the story made it clear they weren't sure many of these meetings actually occurred. They were just scheduled. But um, what's amazing to me is that how the conviction and the time in jail for a really uh, despicable act didn't really matter so much. It's you amazing. know, it was business as usual. But I guess that's what you can buy when you have a lot of contacts and. Um, a lot of money. And, and Jeffrey Epstein really cultivated that. He knew how to do it. That was the secret to his success. Yeah. I mean, we don't really link these guys to Epstein Island. Uh, there's no linkage there, unlike the black book that it turned up. But I'm really concerned about William Burns. You just worry about people being blackmailed. William Burns, former ambassador to Russia. William Burns is now the director of the CIA. I mean, you think he might have had a sixth sense to say, I probably want to stay a million miles away from this character. Well, again, we don't really know what he was talking about. Um, you know, I've heard rumors about Jeffrey Epstein's close <laughs> ties with uh, different countries in the Middle East. Um, so we don't know, but it does look very unseemly. It looks like people are rushing to go see him. And um, again, uh, for you and I, if we were convicted of that, I don't think we could get invited to a bingo hall. And uh, Jeffrey Epstein, look, he dazzled people, right? That's how he operated. Dinners, right. private dinners, jets uh, flying to places, um, all the glamour life, you know, that most people, certainly if you work for the CIA, um, that's not yep. your lifestyle, you know, if you're a government bureaucrat. Bill, it just reminds me of China. Uh, if you want something, uh, pay them off. And you'll get influence. Uh, yes, and that's you, which, the rule. It's the same thing. That's the point of the realm. People will sell uh, their soul for, for money. Uh, or they'll buy it. Yes. William, uh, <laughs> William McGurn, Bill McGurn, thanks so much. All right, thanks, Brian. All right, we'll follow this story. I think every one of them needs to explain themselves. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.